Hello everyone. Welcome back to Simplify Studies. Today's module is about the seven hill states of Northeast India. I have already discussed about Assam in my previous video. It is a state of flat lands and that is the reason why it comes under northern plains and is also known as Assam Valley. The other seven northeastern states are hill states. They are similar yet different. The states are hilly but some of them also have plains. But some states have mountainous regions. All these states get heavy rain. We will start our journey with Sikkim, then move towards Arunachal Pradesh, then to Nagaland, then Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura and finally to Meghalaya. As you can see in the map, all these states share a border with one or two of India's neighbors. But Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh share a border with three neighbors. Though the northeastern hill states are not as big as some other states, they have many different languages and religions. Let us first learn about some similarities in these states. Travelling through these states is a lovely experience because they are very beautiful. There are more forests in these states than in many other parts of the country. But these forests are being gradually cut down. This is causing many problems among the wildlife. Some of these wildlife are not found anywhere else in India. All the states are not equally mountainous. For example, Sikkim has really high mountains whereas Tripura has low land and some hills. Rainfall is generally heavy in these states. This is one of the reasons why these states are so green. The Shara previously known as Cherapunji, which is in Mosin Ram region, has the highest annual rainfall in the world. But this water just flows away. So there is a lot of water shortage here. Agriculture is the main occupation in all these states. Food grains such as rice and maize, fruits such as pineapple and banana, and spices like chilies and ginger are some of the crops of these states. The farmers practice jhum or shifting cultivation in all the states except Sikkim. In Sikkim, farmers practice terrace farming. They stay in one place to cultivate their crops. Whereas in jhum cultivation, Forests are burned down and are abandoned as farmers move to a new area. In olden days, farmers returned to the old area only after 30 years, giving enough time to the forest to grow back and to the land to renew its richness. This returning to the same place for farming is called the Joom cycle. Nowadays, the Joom cycle is only for 3 to 4 years and the shorter period does not allow forests to grow back or the soil to become fertile again. The tribal people form a large part of the population in all the states. Though some states have many more tribes than others, Arunachal Pradesh has more than 20 different tribes, whereas in Sikkim, only one group of people is called a tribe. A tribe is a group of people who share the same language and customs. A tribe can have one or more chiefs. Here, there are not many industries as compared to the other parts of India. There are cottage industries where people weave cloth or make handicraft items at home. 
Other industries are based on agriculture such as fruit preservation or sugar mills or on forest resources such as paper and timber mills. Dance and music are an important part of the lives of the people. In Manipur, you can see the famous classical dance Manipuri, which is based on the stories of Radha, Krishna and Gopis. Whereas in Nagaland, you can see interesting dance where the men dance with their weapons such as spears. Most of the people in these states enjoy non-vegetarian foods like mutton, pork or beef. Now, let us talk about Sikkim in detail. Sikkim is situated along the lovely Tista River. It is a tributary of Brahmaputra. Sikkim has one of the highest national parks in the world, Kanchenjongla. This is a Tibetan name for Kanchenjunga. Many rare animals are protected here. Sikkim also has about 200 Buddhist monasteries and many people here are Buddhist. Many boys become monks at a young age. This is the well-known Romtek Monastery. Gangtok is the capital city which has the maximum people. Other towns are Sengtam and Rangpo. Next, we have Arunachal Pradesh. This state has the largest variety of orchids in India. Tipi in West Arunachal Pradesh is well known for its orchid center that has more than 500 species of orchids. There is also a large monastery at Tawang, close to Bhutan border. This is the state where the Brahmaputra enters India from Tibet. In Tibet, it is called the Sangpo, but in Arunachal Pradesh, it is known as the Dihang. The river Dihang travels through deep gorges in Arunachal Pradesh. High over the river, there are narrow ropes and bamboo bridges that sways and swings when people walk over them. Itanagar is the capital city at the foothills of Himalayas. It is well developed and has the most people living there. Next, we have Nagaland. This mountainous state has very few large towns. With Kohima being its capital, Dimapur is yet another important town. As it is a tribal state, most people live with their tribes in villages. Each tribe has its own language, leader and set of rules. However, English is the official language. The two rivers, Doyang and Diku, create deep valleys, the Barak, and Jinwin flow through the different parts of the state. The forest region has evergreen trees like palm, bamboo and mahogany. Thousands of Amur falcons travel through Nagaland from northeast China to South Africa. The people protect these birds when they stop to rest and feed. Colourful shawls with interesting designs are woven in Nagaland. Each tribe has its own design. Now, let us talk about Manipur. The state, whose name means Land of Gems, has Emphal as its capital. The largest freshwater lake of northeast India, the Loktak Lake, is in Manipur. The world's only floating park, the Kaibol Lamjo National Park, is on this lake. The only place where the sun guy or the dancing deer can be seen. The brow antel red deer or dancing deer is called so because it walks very carefully with little hops on the delicate islands of the lake Loktak which makes it look as though it is dancing. Only 260 
brown antel red deers are left in india because of poaching manipur has an ancient tradition of many interesting local games two of these are manipuri rugby which uses a coconut as a ball and manipuri polo that uses a ball made out of bamboo roots farming fishing silk farming carpentry soap making are all important occupation of manipur next we have mizoram aiswal city which is on top of a hill is the capital of mizoram most villages in mizoram are also on top of hills with the chief's house usually in the center like the other hill states of this region there are no railways so towns and villages are connected through roads the mizos have an interesting bamboo dance a lot of bamboo grows in the forest here there are about 130 different types of bamboo in india the bamboo plant flowers after many years and that too the whole clumps of bamboo flower together after flowering and shedding their seeds on the forest floor the bamboos die the mizo people call this motam this happens every 50 years or so farming sericulture means a rearing of silk worm for silk hand looms and handicrafts furniture making and making of ginger products are some of the main occupations of the mizo people next we have tripura its capital agartala is near bangladesh most part of the state jut into bangladesh in fact in some places the border between the two countries passes through the houses of the village people many small rivers flow through the state the largest is the gomti that has its source in the eastern hills tripura is also known for its cloth weaving and cotton garments as tripura too has a lot of bamboo the tribals of this state use it to make their houses the states of north east are connected to india via a thin stretch of land known officially as the siliguri corridor and popularly known as the chicken's neck next we have meghalaya shillong is the capital of this beautiful state whose name means home of the clouds other towns are tura and mavlai most people live in villages umlon cave in meghalaya is the longest cave in india it is connected with two other caves and the total length of these caves is more than 21 kilometers The pitcher plant an insect eating plant is found in Meghalaya As I've already discussed Mosin Ram in Meghalaya has the highest rainfall in the world but in spite of that people continue their daily work even though most days are wet In Meghalaya roots of trees are grown into bridges that can withstand the wet weather Wooden bridges may rot in the rains but these root bridges are very strong. Here's a small memory trick to remember northeastern hill states. For your information, I have not included Assam here as it comes under plains because of its flat land. So the memory trick is Mother turtle made marvelous noodles and snacks. The first letter of each word stands for one of the states for example m stands for manipur t for tripura m for meghalaya other m for mizoram n for nagaland a for arunachal pradesh and s for sikkim i hope and want you all to develop such memory tricks to make your learning easy 
वी लिव इन अ कंट्री वे डिफरेंट पीपल स्पीक डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस एंड फॉलो डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ लाइफ इट इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर आस टू बी अवेयर एंड रेस्पेक्ट ऑल ऑफ देम दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे हैव अ गुड डे